guys! So today I wanted to film a get ready with me. Uh, it might be a tutorial, but I'm not really sure yet. We'll see how much I actually talk. So yeah, let's just get started. I moisturized this morning and it feels good enough, so I think I'm going to start. Um, I usually like to start with um, my eyes first. So, how's it going? How's your day? Oh, I should probably zoom in first. Okay. Now we're really close and personal. Ignore this portion of my face. I know it looks bad. We'll get through it. Okay, so I, I just want to make sure my mirror isn't covering up my eyes. Ignore that. That's my cat. <laughs> See, typically I like to do... I. Well, you can't see it right now, but I have a mirror on my um, vanity that I typically use, and um, it's really nice, actually. Like, it has all the, like, the lights and that kind of thing. I like it. I don't remember what it's called, but I got it um, as a Christmas present from Ulta. I know that for sure. Okay. So even though I am using the Naked 2 palette mirror, I am primarily going to be using the Chocolate Bonbons palette. Um, I really haven't played with this a lot. I got it as a anniversary Mia. No. Ah! <laughs> That's okay. One second. I yes, I am still going to be using my Chocolate Bonbons, but I do want to use um, Foxy from the Naked 2 palette. I, I like using matte shades to set my um, primer, so that's what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> I don't, this is like my first time filming like a tutorial, ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho oh. this is my first time filming a tutorial, kind of, I mean, I'm not being super informative or anything, but filming my makeup. And my cats are, I have two of them, and they're both kind of like pacing around looking at me like, what? What are you doing? So if you hear any noises, that would be them. Hmm. Let's see what else I can talk about. Um, I just went to Comic Con a couple weeks ago. I'm still not over the like excitement that I had from that. This sure actually is, that's what made me think of it, is um, from Comic Con, not this past one, but the one before that. And I didn't get to go to that one. This one that just happened was my first one. And um, it was pretty fun, actually. I it's really fun seeing like everybody like dress up, even though there was quite a lot of the same costume. Like I don't know how many rays I saw. That was like the most popular one, but they were all still really cool. Then from the chocolate bonbons palette, I'm gonna be taking um probably. I'm just trying to decide if because I know I want to use the um black currant shade on my um, lid, but then I'm not sure what other colors I want to use in the crease. I can't decide between pecan, praline, or almond truffle. I think I'm going to do almond truffle. It's a little bit more warm, um, which is nice. It's like a mauve, or mauve, I guess I should say. I really do like the Chocolate Bonbons palette. It's just, I don't know, not my favorite, I guess you could say. So I'm gonna, I took, um, what was it, Almond Truffle on this uh, Lab uh, Squared. I think that's what it is. You can find these at Walmart. I actually really like this brush, but I think they discontinued it from the, my Walmart. I can't find it at my Walmart. So that's kind of a pain. It's really nice, but, um, I'm just going to be buffing this into my crease. Okay. Okay, sorry. Just want to make sure I'm in focus. If this is bad, I'm really sorry. 
I just have never done this before. This mirror is really powdery. Okay, much better. Oh, but yeah, back to Comic Con. Um, it was really fun because I got to meet Sean Astin. Like, how cool is that? I um, really think he's such a sweet guy. I was kind of upset though because I only got to talk to him for like 0.2 seconds, but um, he was still really sweet. I got his autograph and I also got a picture with him, so that was really cool. So he was there and I watched his panel and then um, I want to say their names are James and Oliver Phelps were also there. They played Fred and George. I'm still using the almond truffle color, by the way. Um, they were also there from Harry Potter. I mean, I didn't get to meet them, but, okay. Uh, they were, I still was, they were in the booth next to Sean Astin, so it was kind of cool to, like, get to see them in person. And then, also Will, F okay, I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm saying his last name right, but Will Fradel, he was on Boy Meets World, and he did, um, the voice of Ron Stoppable. He was there, too. I didn't get to meet him, either. I really wanted to, but it's really expensive. I mean, they had some guy from The Walking Dead there, and he was the most expensive person to, like, get to do stuff with. And then Sean Astin was second, and, like an idiot, I didn't bring cash with me, so I had to or the person that I was with actually gifted me all that like meet and greet stuff which was really sweet of them. I was really excited because I mean it's not every day that you get to meet Sean Astin. Yeah yeah that was so exciting. I love Lord of the Rings. I think it's, it's, it's my favorite. I mean if it was meant as one book I counted as one movie so it's my favorite movie. One of them. Because I also really like Singing in the Rain and um, Clueless. And I think that's it. I think those are my favorite movies. So, now that that's all buffed in, okay, I'm gonna take a tiny bit of mocha. It's um, just kind of like a mid tone brown, it's not like super warm or cool, I think. I think it's more like neutral. But I just want a little bit. Oh. Sorry if you can hear that dog barking, by the way. I just noticed that. Pro! Ha ha ha. Yeah, we'll see how this turns out, because as you can tell, I wear glasses. So I'm doing this basically blind. Every day is a no mirror makeup challenge for me, basically, or blindfolded makeup challenge. Whatever you want to say. I'm doing this blind. When I use my other mirror, you know, I can get like super close to it so it's not that big of a deal. But um, I want to make sure that I'm not out of frame or anything. Okay, my camera just shut off for whatever reason so I, I quickly caught it. I didn't move too far ahead. I'm still working on that mocha color in the crease. Yeah, I've been super into makeup for like two years now. I didn't really wear it when I was like in high school. I'm 20 years old by the way, so when, once I got out of high school I started to get into makeup and um, yeah, I love it and you know, I watch quite a bit of YouTube and I've wanted to make videos for, you know, I would say at least six months I've been talking about it. And I finally got a camera for my birthday, so here we are. I am so excited. Like, oh, this is awesome. Okay, so I'm going to be taking, let's see if I can do this again, whoo, uh, this dark, dark truffle color right there, and just um, on the outer V type more of a thing. You know, you know what I mean. Just to deepen it up a little bit. And I always try to tap off the uh, excess. I, with Too Faced, I don't notice that I really, like, need it, need it. But, like, with other shadows, like Kat Von D, I have to do that. 
or it's a hot mess and it's a lot harder to blend with all that extra shadow. It's better to, I mean obviously I'm kind of going a little heavy handed, but um, I find it's a little bit easier to go like little bit by little bit than just going BAM with a ton of shadow. Let's see, anything else exciting going on in my life? Not really. I have work today. That's that's exciting, right? <sighs> yeah. So that's about it. And I can do whatever I want with my makeup at work, which is nice. Okay. So now that that I think looks decent, I'm gonna take um, this elf brush. It is eyeshadow C brush and just take this black current uh, color. It's the pur purple, purple, purple right there. And I packed that on there. I might spray this with Fix Plus actually. <gasps> Shh, I didn't do that. So got my Fix Plus and I'm just gonna Spray that. Move my palettes out of the way. Don't want them to get wet. That would be upsetting. And then... Oh, I love that color. You know, I haven't really seen a lot of people play with this palette. And I'm taking my um, lab uh, squared brush again. At least I think that's what it is. Yeah, lab squared. And, um, just the one that we used before, and I'm just kind of, you know, blending it all together. Um, I haven't really seen a lot of people use this palette. I like it a lot. I mean, I don't use it a ton. A ton. Like, it's not something I use every day. Because it is definitely more cool toned, but I like it. I like it a lot more than that peach palette. I, thought, I feel like this um, Bonbons palette, it's way more original. And... I like it because I like the name. I don't have a ton of um, cool tone palettes in my collection. You know, obviously, pretty much everyone in the world likes warm toned eyeshadow. That's the thing. But yeah, back to what I was saying. Sorry, I get sidetracked. Um, with the peach palette, I felt like peach. <laughs> Sorry, I squeaked. That's funny. Um, with the peach palette, I feel like. It's just a ton of browns. <laughs> oh, my cat. Um, and with this, at least you get, like, more of a variety. I mean, I feel like I like I like to use this with in, in, conjunction, in conjunction with my Naked 2 palette. Oh, God. <laughs> my cat's licking her arm behind my camera. I think I'm going to take some of the dark truffle color. Um, this I got in a pack from It Cosmetics. It's uh, this like all over shadow slash smudger brush. And I'm just going to take the smudger side. So I mean really you could use whatever you want but this is what I'm using. And I'm going to take that little smudger brush and go back into dark truffle. And kind of like this is going to be complicated. And smudge it along. Hey! So! Update. My card got full, so I quickly imported, I guess I should do the same, I quickly imported to my computer, and we're back. So, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, all I did, update, was smudge the dark truffle color from the Bonbons palette, um, this one, on my lower lash line, and I used uh, satin sheets, that one to highlight my inner corner, and then also I used my Lancome by Facil uh, eye makeup remover, and I dipped a cotton swab in it, and I just, you know, cleaned up the outer edge. So I'm just gonna, you know, finish up. I'm gonna curl my lashes, do my mascara, and then the rest of my face, and we'll call it a day. So, um, 
for mas mascara, I'm, I mean, yeah, I have my lash curl, I'm gonna do that in a minute, but I'm, I use my Lash Sensational, that's probably, like, my favorite mascara, to be honest, and then I'm gonna use this Star Wars Super Sizer in conjunction with that. So, let's do it. <sighs> yeah, I had bought, uh, or bought, I don't know if bought is an actually a word, but I had bought, uh, the an 8 gigabyte uh, memory card, SD card, you know, and I was like, this thing's $30. Hopefully this will last me a little bit, but um, next time I get paid I'm probably going to go buy another one because I couldn't even finish my eye makeup with one. It filled up too quick. So, anyways. <sighs> it's looking like it's going to be a nice day out. Kind of stressing about that. I am not made for hot weather at all. And, you know, I live Comcon, Seattle, you know, Washington State. And you hope that it's supposed to be rainy all the time. At least I do. I enjoy the rain. That is why I'm here. But, no. It's been super hot out. Like, I think last week we, like, broke a ton of records. Um, and had, like, 90 degree weather, which is awful. That is, like, Satan's ball sack for me. And I'd rather not. TBH. I just wouldn't. And, um, this does not work for me. Well, you know, global warming. Gotta love it. And I've been wearing, like, uh, beefy dubs. I've been wearing a lot of falsies lately. And, you know, they're, they're cool and all, don't get me wrong. But, I don't know. I don't think they're necessary for every day. I typically just wear mascara. I mean, just because I wear glasses, or, you know, just because you wear glasses or what have you, I don't think I should be limited or you should be limited to not wearing falsies. So... I do. They're fun. But I like my natural lashes too. I think they're nice. And yeah. I mean sometimes they do make the look look <laughs> the look look better, you know what I mean? It makes my eye makeup look better, but I can still appreciate normal lashes. I feel like this isn't a very flattering angle. Whatever. Okay, so, eye makeup is done! Just taking the, um, the, uh, you know, flat brush that we use to set down the, uh, foxy color from the Naked 2 palette, and I'm just, you know, putting it under my brow bone again a little bit with the excess shadow that it had. So... I should probably do my brows off camera because those take me like 10 years, so I will be back in a minute. Okay? See you in a minute. I know these look a little bold, but I like the way I do my brows, and if any of you would like to see how I do them, um, I just use the Maybelline Brow Define and Fill. Duo. It has like the pencil on one side and then the powder on the other side and then just a brow gel So, you know, nothing too fancy, but if you'd like to see how I get this like fuller Brow then I can do that. Uh, I'm using the Maybelline baby skin pore eraser Just a little bit and what I do with this um, You can use your fingers. That's fine, but I find that it doesn't, it kind of sits on top of the skin because it's so like silicone-y, you know, you can see it right there. And, um, so I like to put it on my, you know, where I have my pores, like normal, and then once I'm all done, you know, putting it, I may have gotten too much, whoops, um, putting it where I have all my pores and that kind of thing. Just kind of wherever, since I have too much. 
Um, then I like to just take a sponge or, you know, whatever you're using and just beat it into your face. I find it actually, like, pushes the product in instead of just using, like, your fingers or something. So, if you notice that your primer is, uh, more sitting on top of your skin and kind of making your foundation look weird, sorry, it's kind of hard to talk when I am doing this, um, then I highly suggest this. Sorry, I don't want to mess up my brows. I worked very hard on those. Oh, and I used the shade Soft Brown, in case anyone was wondering. I mean, I know, I feel like it looks pretty dark for, you know, being a soft brown. But, you know, if you want to try this out, keep that in mind. I think it runs a little dark. But, I think it works well with the color of my hair. I mean, I know <laughs> my hair doesn't look very good at all right now. Um, I'm just letting it grow out. I don't care too much how my hair looks. I'm not a hair person. Um, I had dyed it like, you know, a box dye red and I'm just letting it grow out and I have naturally very, you know, dark brown hair. Um, for foundation, I already took the cap off. I'm using the Infallible Pro Matte L'Oreal. Now that I have that all dotted on my face, I'm going to blend it. What are your guys' plans for today? Anything exciting? I hope so. Or even if you're not, and you're just hanging out at home, I hope you have a good day. I actually have a beauty blender that I had gotten as a, another anniversary present because my boyfriend's really sweet. And I had never tried one before. Because I find it hard to justify spending $20 on a sponge. And yes, it is nice. But I like my Real Techniques one. I think that's good. I'm gonna... I still have some excess, so I'm just gonna um, apply that... Ooh, hair flip. Gonna um, apply that to underneath the jawline. And... On a little bit of acne that, a little bit of acne that I have going on. I mean, really, it just looks like I have herpes or something. Maybe a little bit more where it kind of looks a little patchy. That happens sometimes when, with a beauty blender, I think. Or real technique sponge if you want to get technical about it. And, oh yeah, by the way, pro beauty vlogger, I am in the shade 101 Classic Ivory and the infallible foundation, if you were curious. If, I'll probably put all the products that I use down below, because I know that when I watch beauty videos, I just kind of like to refer to the um, description box. I think it's helpful. Okay, so now that I did my foundation, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm going to take off the glasses <laughs> for a minute. <laughs> um, I found, actually, my Naked 2 palette, the, the mirror, as the one I'm, that I'm using, and my cat broke my half-baked shade. It's a good thing I have the um, original Naked palette, because I actually really like half-baked. I used to wear it on my lid a lot more than I do now. Just because I don't... I, li I like darker looks, typically. So, I don't really wear it on my lid as much anymore. I like to, um... Kind of just put it on as like an inner corner highlight. But it's still gorgeous. Okay. And then I'm just blending that. I also use the shade Fair. It's like 15 instead of 10. I don't know why they did that. I found that light would, I mean, it was a good color in the beginning, but then by the end of the day, it would oxidize on me. And 
I don't think that ferro oxidizes on me, which is kind of weird because it's the same formula, I would think. And then for powder, I'm going to be using the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores in Translucent. I like to use um, my sponge for that. So I just like dip a little bit into my powder. Have it. And set my under eye area. I'm just kind of kicking on the powder. I really like this powder because um, it keeps me matte. It, it kind of um, dries out my skin, honestly, like how matte it is. Or at least how my eye find it. I like that because I'm kind of oily. And if you have like dry skin, I probably wouldn't recommend this because it, it does does accentuate your dry patches, I find. But you know, teach their own. If you want to try it, do it. I support you. I also have been using the um NYC loose face powder. I think it's like smoothing or something. That one's really good too. I find that it's gonna be more of a winter-esque powder when it's like colder outside because it lets your natural oils come out a lot easier than um, something like this where my It Cosmetics one where it's a lot more long wearing. So keeps me matte longer. And then blush. We're almost done. Holy cow! I'm going to be using the Milani Powder Blush in American Beauty Rose. It's really pretty. It kind of has a little bit of a sparkle to it, but that's okay. And I'm taking my e.l.f. small stipple brush, just kind of dipping it in, tapping off the excess. I like blush. I'm not really a bronzer person, as you know, just I didn't do my bronzer or contour or anything. Eh. I mean, I'll do it occasionally, but it's not something I like to do every day. So, I'm taking the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush, and it's pretty fat, and it wasn't this, like, flared when I had first bought it, but... I use it for highlighting, and for highlighting today, I'm going to use my bonbons, and I'm going to use the satin sheets. I use that to highlight my inner corner, if I didn't state that before. I'm saying it again, and I'm just kind of dipping that in, tapping off, and then using that to highlight. Um, I used the Rimmel Moisture Renew Lipstick in Tower of Mauve, Mauve, whatever you want to say. It's really pretty. I don't really wear it that much because I find that these kind of wear off a little bit, but they're still really nice lipsticks. I recommend them. And I'm going to now set my face with the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set with Aloe Green Tea Cucumber and Vitamins A, C, and E. So, yeah. I don't know. I don't really remember having a dislike or like for this. I haven't really tested it. It's nice, but yeah. I know that you have to hold it really far away from your face because otherwise it's like a So, here we go. So that's the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed um, hanging out with me, talking, listening to me talk. I hope you guys leave some comments so I can know how your day is going or if you enjoyed anything, if I should fix anything, whatever, you know, or what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future. I'm totally open to suggestions and... Yeah, I hope you have a great day, and I hope to see you again soon. So, bye!